The revelations about Victorian Labor Party shenanigans last night on 60 Minutes were extraordinary. Not because they showed rampant branch stacking, factional power plays, politicians' intent on power above all else, the plying of ethnic communities for factional recruitment drives, the use of taxpayer-funded workers to run party operations. Now, we've heard all of this before, of course, but what was astonishing was that it's still been going on in Victoria under the Andrews Labor government just two years after much of it was exposed in that infamous red shirt scandal in the lead-up to the 2018 election. They sh they, that should have brought Victorian Labor undone then, but some in the media were very soft on it. The opposition failed to properly prosecute it. And Daniel Andrews promised his party had learned all the lessons so it wouldn't happen again. Yet here we are. Give money. If that case, I'll give it to him tomorrow. He comes tomorrow. I'll better take money tonight. Take another money tomorrow. It was terrific reporting from 60 Minutes, and the reaction came swiftly. Adam Somurek was caught out on tape organising money to branch stack, allegedly urging someone to forge signatures, and boasting about his political power. Today, he's been fired from Cabinet. He'll be kicked off the ALP National Executive and expelled from the ALP eventually, while the evidence is all going to be referred to the police and the Victorian Anti-Corruption Authority. But the cancer remains. This branch stacking caper was so big and so powerful that many MPs, obviously, were in Somurak's thrall. So more heads will have to roll probably starting with factional colleague Marlene Carews, also a minister in the Andrews government. The political fallout here is going to be intense. Factional players say that Somurek was looking to replace federal MPs in Victoria in a bid to install people loyal to Bill Shorten so that he might be able to take back the federal leadership eventually from Anthony Albanese. So there are factional rivalries here and ructions that go all the way to Canberra. And they were part of this power game. So more is going to play out. There'll be more ramifications. And, of course, there'll be retaliation. Expect some dirt to be leaked out against uh, some others in coming days. A powerful part of the Victorian right has been caught out and it's going to lose some of its power. But for Labor generally, there will be serious brand damage. And for politics more broadly, it just confirms the worst impressions of many voters.